This next viewer who's going to share a recipe, uh, looking at a little bit of her background, brings to mind how many of us have done the home economics class at school? If you haven't, take one. You'll find use for it in life. And, and what they're doing now in school and teaching, well, get ready. Miriam Boris of West Vancouver. Barnaby High School, you are teaching cooking, you are a chef. I am, I you, am. Students must be just having an, a terrific time learning from you and, they're, and seeing they're such creations. They're having a ball. They're having a ball. They love baking. I, I can't get them away from the bakery. We That's have wonderful. like tons of people in the bakery and nobody mm -hmm. wanting to do dishes. Well, figure that out. Yeah. 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 Well, or, this is fun. Or, because the, or the main course. The, with Carol and I and everybody watching and everybody, well, Burnaby High School, here we go. Let's see great. what the Hi teachers are teaching Hi there. you. Hi, everybody. <laughs> okay, so, so we're making sour cream, rhubarb, strawberry pie. We are, and we're starting wow. with pastry. Okay. And this pastry has a great history because mm -hmm. it's actually my mom's, it's actually my mom's recipe. Okay. And, um, you're on. Yep. Great. And what we do is you can do this by hand, but we're lucky enough to have a mixer. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to incorporate the um, the um, the shortening to the point where it's still quarter size, but yet lots of flour. Because if we overmix at this stage, we'll ruin our yeah, pastry. It'll be because we do want it light and fluffy. Okay. And uh, as I said, this is my mom's recipe, and her trick is that she adds vinegar white wow. vinegar. Now this happens to be white wine vinegar, which I really like to use, mm -hmm. but um, so I'm going to just add a couple of tablespoons, three tablespoons, and I'm watching this. I don't want that to over mix. Mm -hmm. So here's the three tablespoons into the one egg. Okay. Now to that, just mix it up, and I'm looking at this still because I still don't want this to over mix. Right. One cup of uh, very cold water. So you've got that all that fluid. Now, I'm not necessarily going to add all this fluid right. chef because we don't know what type of mixture or what type yeah. of uh, uh, right. fluid On any is, given day, we have it. no idea we how don't. much water this takes. So this is pretty good. See, it's about quarter size, dime size, so that's perfect for us. Okay. So here we go. In goes our fluid, but I'm going to hold back a bit. Whoops. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Step back, Mark. <laughs> now, I'm not going to over mix at this stage. And this is where I'm going to stop. Oh, wow. That's and there's quick. our pastry. Now, normally what I would do, mm -hmm. I would take this out of here, put it into parchment, and into the fridge. Right. Okay. So we're ready way to go. down. Right. So now we're we can go on to... We're going to pretend that you've done that. That's right. Because wow. I do have some pie crust ready to go. So I then really you roll small it out. Vinegar too. Mark, I have yes. a job for you if you don't mind. All right. All right. So now we're going to put in this um, bowl. Mm -hmm the butter and okay. the brown sugar and that's going to be our crumble topping and you can use your pastry if you don't mind. Here we go. And, uh, the and why don't we do the okay, sour cream we'll do filling. The sour cream stuff. Okay, sour cream. It needs one egg. And all the brown sugar goes in? All the brown sugar. All, right. all the brown sugar. Okay. Um, definitely we have, oh thank you, yes, yes, that's perfect, thank you. So just mix this up very quickly. This is such a, an easy recipe. And what do flour we have here? Flour goes in. Oh, flour uh, in here. Flour okay. in and sugar. Sugar. And we're gonna, now there's, a, I was thinking that there would be a great um, secret ingredient to add to this, Mark, and I know and, that you're gonna love this. And? We have some beautiful <laughs> Irish cream liqueur. Yeah. Now, if I was doing this at school yeah. for my students, I would not be taking the Irish, exactly. Irish cream liqueur to school. But However, this, you're here with Mark we and are. me. So, Mark? <laughs> yes. How much should we add, do you think? I, generous. Generous amount. Way you go. I love okay. the word generous. Don't mind. Let's two, three tablespoons. When in doubt, generous. Thank you. That's there we perfect. Go. That looks like so about this three now has been turned in from an everyday sour cream filling to mm -hmm. an everyday sour cream Irish cream Super filling. Special. And we're making the sour cream rhubarb and strawberry pie. We you just are. tuned in, everybody. All right. So now the beauty of this pie is it's that easy. Okay. It's that easy. Now we need our pie crust, chef, please. Here we go. One pie go. crust. Isn't that pie beautiful? Crust. Now I, I must see say, just my students made these with me did at school really? at Burnaby Central. They did. Right on. She is a great teacher. Check this out. Look at I know. Very Look nice. how beautiful it is. They are beautiful. So, easy, easy. Here we go. Frozen rhubarb. rhubarb. Now, oh, frozen I rhubarb. have I have used fresh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Generous amounts of your, it's actually uh, four to five cups of mm -hmm. rhubarb. And then generous amounts, and these are frozen, but look, we could use we fresh. We could use okay. fresh. Absolutely. When the fresh ones are nice, use the fresh ones. Exactly. Fresh and who doesn't have a nice. neighbor with rhubarb, huh? And because the pie does bake down, 
Yeah. You it, may be generous. So you want you to really bound generous, it up. Right. And of course my hands are like, oh, there you go. That's Thank okay. You, Chef. We're family here. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and now your favorite filling, Mark. Your absolute favorite Look at filling. That. And we just pour that over the top generously. So teaching at Barnaby High School, do you ever find students that go on to culinary school in yes. advance and you're like, oh, wow, yes. I was See, the I first teach, to teach them. That's true. I teach, I teach during the day. Mm -hmm. And these, my students from uh, my cafeteria class and my uh, cook's training class, they go on to take the ACE with Chef Wade in the afternoon. Oh, wow. So that's we're very great. lucky in Burnaby Central. We have two chefs. Wow. One in the day Very nice. and one in the afternoon. And voila, okay, this voila. goes into the oven, okay. 350, at, uh, for about 50 to 60 minutes until, mm -hmm. until you see the pie rise mm -hmm. up and um, it's, the juices just start to boil out, then you stop. Wow. It's amazing. Yeah, well, it's amazing how fast this comes together. You know, as you know, watch this, there, there's no editing. It's live TV, no retake, and look how quick. Other than the and baking this, time, but of course oops, we have to save on that time is here. Hot. So it's this, hot. this is the hot pie, and you can serve this pie warm out of the oven. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little more runny that way, but it's still absolutely delicious. But if you want nice, it to set up, then exactly. give it a couple of hours standing. Or like our other one, cold, stone cold. If you yes, it's really, just yes. Wow. So two choices for our sour cream. Oh, I, pie. I was looking at the one we had in the bake. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I no, no, no. Can eat the pie raw. <laughs> not, not the raw one. Yeah. No, Read the, the, big the instructions one. and ingredients right. once all the way through before right. you start cooking, so you know what's going on here. Exactly. Right. And that's okay. exactly. Shall we give this one a try? <laughs> we could. It's perfect. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, I what I found this week was mm -hmm. when the students were making the pie, uh, we couldn't make enough. We sold oh, yeah. hundreds of pieces because we would cut them up into. Like this pie, it's uh, cut it up into six pieces, mm -hmm. and we were serving it, and they're paying only a dollar fifty or two dollars for a piece of pie, and everywhere we, every time we put them out, they were gone. Raise the price, forty dollar <laughs> pie. <laughs> <laughs> so with whipped cream or ice cream, and this is the best pie, and my young niece Sophia won a blue rib ribbon at the Mochosen Fair for this So this last is year. mom's recipe, but did you change anything to it or was it? Um, no, I didn't change the recipe, the recipe of the pastry at all. Okay. The actual sour cream came from my best friend Maggie's mom mm. in Saskatchewan, because in Saskatchewan there's nothing but rhubarb, right? Mm. So, ah. so they, um, she gave me the, the idea for the recipe, mm -hmm. and her name is Helen that? Patterson, and she's then a lovely this is lady. Isn't that delicious? Mm -hmm. It is. It's yeah. really, really nice. So have sour you, cream and pie. Easy have this you made so it with simple. other kinds of fruits? I have. I've made it with uh, Saskatoon, I, and apparently mm -hmm. the raisin um, sour cream pie is amazing. Mm -hmm. but, ah, I could see that with blackberries. Yeah. But blackberries and blueberries that would be and decadent. Oh, and uh, the the medley of fruits. You know mm -hmm. the raspberry. Strawberry, blueberry, blueberry. blackberry, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and that I can even see it with too. I can even see it with peaches actually. Okay. It's, I mean I can see it with it. this this filling seriously is to die for, and I think it's just okay. Can, so one's enrollment, so I can come get in your class. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've already graduated, Mark. <laughs> we, get to, yes. we get to eat a lot there, don't yes. we? Yeah. Yes. Outstanding recipe in, in, in Vancouver, West Here Vancouver. Thank you for thank sharing you. and having such a wonderful thank person, you. Miriam Boris, with us here. Thank Barnaby you. High School, she's got her cooking class and doing wonderful things with the students. Good for you. Thank you, Mark. Good for you. Thank sour you out today. Thank you, Chef. Thank you for having me. It was yeah. a pleasure. There you go. It's a, you. it's a sour cream, rhubarb, and strawberry pie. And you've learned all about it. And even more, let's cook one at your house. The cookbook, KCTS 9 Cooks Just Desserts. Call 1-800-443-1999. You get the cookbook, you support programs like this. So we're always here year after year with these wonderful shows and wonderful friends to meet. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Chef. Yeah.